Hello everyone, welcome back to Crypto Gains for another video. And in this video, I thought I'd do a nice little analysis with you guys on VeChain, give you some price updates on the price, and you know, show you what I think and where it may go. As I say, I'm not always the best at this, but I'm good enough to know what I know and I'm going to share it with you. So if this sounds interesting to you, please drop that like, give me a subscribe if you're new watching, and I will dive into this. But before I do so, I need to let you know, I'm not a financial advisor. These are just my own personal opinions on the market. So please always do your own research before investing any money. That being said, shout out to my Patreons. I think for now, I'm going to have to sort of <laughs> snip my previous name call, which is going to be my most recent updated name call. You know what it is because you've heard my most recent update name call because I put it on here with my latest video. And then, yeah, I'm going to have to do it like that for now because, <laughs> because the name list is just too damn long. And... I'm just going to keep updating it every time I get new patrons. Now, I've got new patrons, so I'm probably going to have to update it tomorrow and then do the new name call. And then, obviously, that name list will then be the next one. But you know what I mean. You'll see it as it goes along anyway, and you'll understand. But, yeah, let's dive into this. VeChain. It's down 17% today. Most people would panic, <laughs> but I would see it as a good buying opportunity. Just my personal opinion. I thought I'd do, like two things show you like what kind of prices you can see if it goes low and what kind of prices you can see if it goes high especially with this bull run and how everything's happened because it does look like we faced the mini bear market and i don't know how long it's going to go on for some people believe that we already saw the bottom of the market but i just want to go through it with you and help you understand what i see so what i have here is the two moving averages one is the 21 daily moving average and you can see up here because it says 1d right and you can change that and you can have it on like a four hour or whatever but i'm just going to show you on the daily for now and they also have the 200 week moving average you can usually change this to 150 those are the other types of supports but it looks like it broke those supports so i'm using the 200 uh week moving average i should change that to red really because that's like like the, the absolute bottom kind of thing like if it gets down there you best start panicking usually <laughs> what am i laughing for anyway I don't think it's something to worry about too much. I'm going to draw up a Fibonacci in a second, but I just want to show you something. This yellow line here, for those who are new watching, new to the crypto space, is the 21-day moving agi uh, <laughs> agi average. It's been significant for uh, any price chart analysis that you use. And you can see here, whenever VeChain was above this, you can see the price. It bounced across it so many times. And if it broke it, you can see here it bounced off the 200 daily, right? And then it came back up, bounced again, came down, had a big wick up. With the wicks basically means buy pressure. Now, if obviously, if the wick's down below, it's buy pressure. Uh, pressure. People are buying it and it's going back up. If you ever see wicks like this at the top and it's coming downwards, that's sell pressure. People selling. Again, I know a lot of people know this stuff, but there's still new people to the crypto space that don't really understand that. And I just want to make it super clean and simple so you can understand i can delete this now that was just a falling wedge which played out really well as you can see going forward and stuff but yeah uh what i'm trying to get at is it's so significant this yellow line because it's always bounced off it and we've seen higher highs with this price but whenever it's broke it you know we've seen lower prices and as you can see here it tried to come test it again and it resisted and it's come back down and i just want to show you what it looked like in the past or well, this is a nice little example here look resistance came across, across almost broke it came back down resisted 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 and obviously when it finally broke again it came back up so i'm just trying to give you that as an example i'm focusing on this 200 week because it's come back above it since it had that disgusting drop and you know, it looks like, me, myself, I, got to say that, looks like it's forming like a V-shaped recovery. And you see this a lot in crypto, um, especially when you've seen massive price drops, especially like harsh ones and stuff. And the last one was probably back in what? Um... Uh, March, well, here, yeah, here, 20, 2020, uh, this is, a, yeah, March, so you saw a harsh drop, and you saw the shape recovering, I can draw it out again, so you can see, like a V-shaped recovery, right, and it came out, and I'm kind of expecting V-Chain to do the same thing again, I don't know how long it's going to take to do it, but I just want to open your eyes to different targets as to what prices uh, V-Chain can go, if it does, or if it doesn't, so if V-Chain breaks this line, uh this 200 week because i'm expecting it to come down to here at the moment because of the little drops that are happening right that's like what nine cents 9.0 0.93 it could go lower and if it does 
you know how do we see what kind of prices it can go to i can show you now with this fibonacci uh, fibonacci retracement i think i'm saying that right here we go the fib i just call it fib action you know and i'm actually going to draw this fib right back from this uh disgusting dump back in march because i think that i might get a better reading on it now some people might do it here because you can see it held a lot of uh, support and a bit of resistance in like the, the uh, charts and stuff the candles but i want to do it from back here and i'm going to show you why let me just quickly go to this first i'm going to line it up from here which is the very top of the price and i'm going to bring it down to the lowest part here like this so i'm, I'm basically trying to line it up with the the massive dump in march right up until the highs that we saw recently and when i do this and we stretch out the uh, fib now and the chart you know we can zoom in have a good look at what we're seeing now because this shows supports and i get a nice good clear picture not always sometimes with these fibonacci's you can see different retracement levels so right now it's playing on this retracement level here which it could hold support and start get you know start to buy up and if it does i expect it to sort of buy up come across buy up and you know we could see it come up to this green line here which in a sense could also face this 21 day moving average because if it breaks above it like i said whenever you see prices above this 21 uh day moving average it usually holds support and if we start seeing candles above it you know we could start seeing some uh, you know price action upwards so that's what i'm going to be looking at and what kind of prices can we see i'm just trying to delete these now look putting them on they should show me how to delete this all, all in what can i just like highlight all at the same time i don't know anyway uh you know if it breaks this here and it remains above the yellow line the 21 day i think we will see a, uh, a price all the way up to here which is oh, why is it not let me do what i want to do here we go put a line there it's not let me put a line. oh there it did do it you're looking about 17 cents okay that's what i'm thinking that's that would be the next target if it comes above breaks it you're looking at 17 cents if it falls below this here this mark here which is the 200 week which is actually lining up with this you know this orangey line support of the fibonacci right you can see it you'd be looking at uh, that's the nine cents that I said if it falls down there i'm expecting it to come right back down here again guys and you know you'd be looking at a price of six cents but how high can this potentially go because if we see it spark off again the whole bull market and uh, it sparks off how high could it actually go i'm going to show you what prices i think it can reach to because if you look at these colors it looks like a rainbow the fibonacci it goes right up here all the way up there somewhere and i want to show you how high we could potentially see things go i would be looking for prices up here you know at the top of this fibonacci i'm looking for prices up here if it was to continue in a bull market and you know we're seeing prices of and it sounds crazy i know you know one dollar 17 cents for v chain uh so that's a, a good price target to sort of keep your eye on pinpoint it down get get your pen and paper and write it down if you like because that gives you like an idea as to what kind of prices you could take profits at if it was to spark off in another bull market right i still think we're in the bull market and again this looks like another v-shaped recovery but time will tell um but yeah and if it goes down here then obviously uh, this will be the support for me and if it breaks that then obviously i'll have to redraw the fibonacci you can draw it two ways because i'll do it from top to bottom like you saw but you can do it the other way as well from bottom to top and it just shows like a different way but um for now i'm just going to keep it like this and you know make it super clean super simple so you can understand where i'm coming from but yeah this was on the daily let's just take a quick look at the weekly time frame and the reason i like to shift it forward is because you know the longer you have on your time frame because some people do like five minutes 15 minutes you can change this like i said here but i like to do it on the long time frame like the weekly because it shows things what what it, what it could look like in the future in the long-term perspective and as you can see here right look the 200 uh, daily so this is the 200 weekly now so the 200 sorry I'm saying 200 <laughs> i'm saying 200 i'm looking at the 21 day 21 week sorry sounds confusing but it's not i promise you this yellow line same one but it's now called the 21 week because we changed it to the weekly time frame there you go it looks like it's trying to break the 21 weekly move on average it actually broke it today looks like but it came back down with some sell pressure i'm guessing that was people that panicked before and obviously sold to try and get some profits but if it breaks this it it's just going to be super bullish for the uh, v chain on the long run because again look what i'm saying look whenever it's gone above the yellow line and these are weekly candles it's always 
remains consistent. A bit of under pressure there, but came back up. And look at the rise that we've had. So I'm going to be keeping my eye on this price right here. And I'll tell you what, you guys should be looking at this one too. Because if it breaks the, uh, we're talking 11 cents. Right now it's at 10.6. If it goes to 11 cents and it remains above it, and this green line prints a new line on Monday, because this is a weekly candle, ends on Sunday, and Monday it's above 11 cents, you best believe we're going to see some price explosions in VeChain, and it could very well go up to the prices that I said, the £1.17 in the future. So yeah, uh, I'm going to leave it here. Like I said, not the greatest, but good enough to know what I know. If this was helpful to you, and you like these kind of videos, please drop that like, give me a subscribe, and let me know if you want me to bring more. I'm going to do more on other coins as well, because I think it's important to show you some of these things sometimes. And uh, yeah, just obviously keep you guys up to date. If you're a patron of mine, you would have seen this straight away, because I'm going to upload it to you guys straight away so you can see first. But it is coming out the same day so everyone else can see. But yeah, things like this is what I like to do to prepare people, especially my pat uh, patrons and stuff. And yeah, shout out to you all. I see you in these tears. Big up to you all. <laughs> and the name shout, are you ready for this? Like I said, it's going to be clipped, so it might sound a bit funny. But yeah, here it is. Shout out to Dana, Mr. T West, Tony Ottawa, Glenda, Cora Black, SM, Marco Costanti, Marco Costanti, sorry, Michael AJ, Frank C63, Clarence Dennison, J Christopher Johnson, Jacob Adams, Mr. Anonymous, Stuart Shackler, Lewis Rich, Natasha F, Carlos Watcher, Mr. Tuffley, Damaris, Samuel Stancox, I'm trying to do it fast, you see, Rahul the God, Dante Kennedy, RG Bizzle, Max, Kenneth Whitley, Wiser, Marcelo Trevino, Redax Robinson, Manny Sanchez, Catherine Chung, Tyron Samuel, Stephen Edward, Abiola, got to take a deep breath, Rachel Mack, Pamela Williams, Brandon, Stacks and Racks, Rick, Joffrey Williamson, Omar Thomas, Caspanel, Evan Davis, CCP269, Goodfields Nice, Lucas, Albert Lynn, Dominic, Will W, Peter Stoddard, I'm going to mess up on some names as well, <laughs> just sneaking on platform 9 or 3 calls, you know, but I appreciate you, where was I? Dominic, Will, Will W, Peter Stoddard, Melinda Spencer, Eric Foreman, Semyon, Fatima Price, sorry if I missed someone's name, Shwanda Owens, Tanner McLaren, Josh Wills, Tom Baird, Marcel Essos K, Kevin Ward, Sassavi, Michael Keel, Christopher Hoss, Chris Steve, Peter Mosa, Snowy, D. Swearing, Andrew Harlan, Posey Woke, Eric, Kelvin, William Fox, S.J.R., Claudette, or Miliosa. Like when got him, Leviosa. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. <laughs> Just got to drop that, you know. Shakir Hussein, Jeff Tomtich, because I love it. Jeff Tomtich, Paul Lamaru, Lamar Lee Seeley. This one, I lost my damn voice. Just shouting too much. L Cody Harris, S, Daniel Hopkins, Cyril, Alexander Afori, Gilbert Baggins, Stefan, Eric Jackson, Paul Forrest, Hassan, the Don. Big up. Benson Harm, Parra, Russell Cohan, Joseph Marcus, Joshua Mangno <laughs> Manglona, Crypto Mac, Jordan Bomb, <laughs> Jordan Bomb. I want to put the, the click, you know. The African click. <laughs> What am I laughing for? Andrew Queen, giving the games with X, West AM, Ali, Mo Steve, Yak Jassin, LSS, Mike V, Joanna Mofavero, Orikem, J Faye, Pierce Sullivan, Terry, JC, Oli, Elton Rosario, Orville Broomfield, Frank Essa, NASA, Ignacio, Daddy Handy, G Crypto Lemon 7, Chris Chico, NM That Man, Francis Locco, Zach Adam, Mansour, Kieran Phoenix, Jem de Jaguar, Donny Devro. I told you there was loads, I'm not joking. Nico McDonald, and I ain't even added the new names. <laughs> well, I've added them, I haven't even got there yet. Michael Lloyd. Marcus Gittery, Robert Loss, exactly us. Stony Mac, John Lowe, Ken Merrill, Rajod, Ranjod Singh, Raffle Cooper, Laura Bruce, Aiden, Ejiki Okori. Sick little name. There's a sick little spell there. Just mash up someone's pot in the head. I don't know, because I just think of like a. Anyway. <laughs> I'm laughing now. Luke Ainsworth, not cutting it. Mr. Do Right, because people cut it. Anthony Berry, but I'm keeping it in. <laughs> Ian Fates, raw. TG, TRG Investments, fresh. <laughs> I can't stop. An organic like Tesco's. I can't help it. Brain could do a sulik. I've got to start scrolling up now. Marcus Ersi. This is why I get a sore throat. I've got, I'm sitting there, Coron, not Coron, Coron, Coronia. <laughs> I've got my Coronia in the corner. I can see it there. Where am I? Mark, oh, sorry, I've got to go back. Marky Cersei, Ryan Orange, Wiley, Ryan Williams, Tukin, Santino, Ruff Hussain, Kenneth Holmes Jr., Joel, Crazy Jam, J Timothy J. Brusky, Renee, Chris, Melissa James Damon, Davis. UKMC, No Name, Jack Slater, Pablo, Bradley Kim, El Lena111, Sunny V, Crypto1, Ross Martinu, Hany Abu, Ricardo Vinegas, Shinadu, Oscar Vilgas, Crypto Moon, Nightman911 is new to you, Jackson Tepper, H Francis Hernandez, Elliot Barron, Akbar, Big Al, Jermaine Allen, David Ad Adediji, <laughs> let me do that again, David Adediji, Chiquita, what's up, John Sandoval, Aaron Silo, Chris McClendon, Optimus Poon Page, Edgar Cortez, Angel, Ramil TV, Kirsten, Mr. Drew, SNCC, C. Mully, so, sorry, C. Mullen, Duddy Albers, Santa Kampong, Joshua Asher, Dino D, Black Hate, Bob Ross, Eloy, Mikey, User X2019, Ibrahim Kamara, Black Star, Chiles Creations, Akis Vodos. <laughs> There's so many. 
Akis Rodriguez, Abby the same, Moise De Lopez, Michael, Keith Harrison, Joseph Samara, Neon Lon- Neona London, Chris Tapdancers, Irish, Jack Bliss, Montreal Amon, Joey J, Raj, <laughs> Raj T, Lisa, Brian Reedy, Islam, Terry. There's a reason why they become patrons. You best believe if you're still here listening. Connie Goodman. Sorry, Carnell Goodman. <laughs> Just call you Connie, you know. Matthew Walker. Got a sniff there. Carlos Porter. Oh, I still got my little cold. I'm fighting through it. Sarah Paint Singh. I just felt better today. Dennis Bruman, Alessandro Benini, Mark Peake, Elliot Chu, Royal ID, Teddy Barrel, Hassan P, Mark McCougar, Gordon McCulloch, Monica Matteo, Adam Allen, Ralph Green, Marcus Dunbar. Hold on, I'm getting there. Gonna get confused now. Johnny Matthews, Michael James, Arted, Moises Gallery, Mrs. Carla V. Hello. Rizwan, A Kings, Ice Cat Trader, David Davides Nomentas. You know, just open up that secret book. You best believe. Where am I? Connie, A. Alamu, Williamson Johnson. <laughs> Anthony, I've got different tones of voice in my voice, isn't it? Anthony Donny, Karen, da- Karen Danik, Kimberly Gearman, All for One, Cylinder, Tashima, Stefan, Coinage, Adriana, Landa, PC World, you best believe. Marky27, <laughs> what am I laughing for? Dave, Chris Adlam, Crypto Newbie, I told you, that. I think I'm halfway. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it. Thomas Rodriguez, Golden Bag, Slow Measy, Noel 21, Trevor Dawson, Jew Tem, Thierry, Crypt, Mr. Crypto, Joe Yusuf, Chucks Anderson, Splurge Ultra, RF Joy, Kelvin Rodriguez, Danny Rich, Elstein, Tefad Swa, I think that's right. M- Memphis Demfers, look, I'm at the top. I've got to start scoring down again. Uh, where am I? Carnivore, Carnivore, 444, Morgan Culver. Hello, where am I? Joe, Kelpeshkama, Jack Sutton. Like it's Sutton, you know. Uh, Sutton, Sutton. Anyway, that's what I used to say. Alexand- no, Alexis Pagan. Pagan, let me know. Seraph X, Kevin V, Crypto Hustle, Anish Patel, Dean, Aaron, Nova, Muhammad Imran, Ankush Jane, Cory, Co- oh, Cory, Mario L, Vanessa Small, Michael Roberts, Elijah Ayland, I think that's right, or Ayland D, Nika Onu, Moenu Hussain, Andrew L- 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 Andrew Laramy. Uh, Nadine Jordan, Eddie Laforme, Tony B, D Wills, Riyad Medicasso. Some of these names, I swear you got me going. Mandy Nguyen, Hashimatala, I think that's right. Michael Ruddy, Will Brooks, John Wesley, Sura Rashid, Eamon Deep Whaler, Mas- Mazixo, I think that's right, Mazixo, Master J, Daniel Brown, Leon Plast, DG Crypto. Adam Istvan, I mean, is anyone still sitting here? Please drop a like if you're still sitting here. I'm still going. Theodore Wheaton, LD, Vincent Millet. Here we go. Hold on. Mauricio, I think that's right. A Noop N, Rev Rav, Steve Hayar, Amon Rizvi. New names. <laughs> Gonna get so many messed up. Jacob Tomachio, I think that's right. Tomachio, let me know. Is that Tomachio? Let me know. Janetta, uh, Legend Charles Knight, Asa Jones, I think that's right. Uh, Gab- Gabriel Vince McDowell or McDougall? Let me know. I don't know. Uh, ah, is this hold on? Duns River? I think I might have spelled misspelled. I think it's right. Carrie Gilbo Blaggins? Because I swear I had you before. As Gilbo Baggins, you must be similar. Jake, Jake Ross, Cookie Crumbs, Christian Lee, Philip Stafford. Why ain't my screen scrolling? Send me a second. Where am I? <laughs> okay, this one's a hard one. Ocienta Chamjalo? I think I said that right. Let me know. Find me now. No, fund me. <laughs> Find me. Fund me now. Crypt Dive. Klondik. I think it's Klondike or Klondike Pennyfeather. Let me know. Because Pennyfeather's like that scary face in the clown. I know about that name. Uh, Maha. <laughs> this screen ain't scrolling. I've been scrolling on the screen. It's just stuck. Uh, Maha Ramadan. Fears Ahead. Or did that, I think, I don't know if my bloody phone's like, you have to let me know, because sometimes the auto spell. Brandon 10X, Jim, ha- Harsha, Bent, or Benty Henson, let me know. Um, I think it is. Uh, Daniel Gregorio, Gregory, let me know. Idol Piper, uh, Sherry T. Zostek, I think that's right, Zostek, uh, Desh- Van- Desh- I don't know. Deshanovation, Mustafa, Skylark, is that DJ Skylark, yeah, hold tight DJ Skylark, hold on, hold, on. hold tight DJ Skylark, I see you DJ Skylark, okay, I've got to stop, <laughs> I should big up, you know, Liz Reed. <laughs> I ain't cutting nothing, El Bengrad, I think I s- I think I said that right. Mike Van Tilburg, the A team. It was slashed on my cards, but it come out. I couldn't see it all. Jacob Madaris, Landlord Morrison's Morrison. Let me know. Uh, Nichols Nichols 
Nicole's do it. Dave Catho. I told you! Sitting here. Flipping 40 minutes or so. Richard Hammer. Hammer. So I'm almost, I can see the end. Kyle Dawson. Dennis. JP Delian. Delian. I think that's right. V Flash. Michael Cut. Cat. Michael Catlett, I'm almost there, Joey Shawns, Akeem Banks, Michael, Michelle, it's Michelle, Michelle Van Den Acker, big up to you, Rosemary Henson, my actual, <laughs> God, that was mad, thank you all, and all them extra patrons, I see you in these tears, this is why I lose my voice. Because I'm shouting out your names for like half an hour. Whoa. I don't know what I'm going to do. Because like I said. I can't be sitting here all day. Calling your damn names. <laughs> but I appreciate you all. Thank you so much. And yeah. I just had to scroll that quick. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Cheers. <laughs>